Welcome. In this video, I'll explain mid-side workflow inside the FL Studio Mobile Rack. For an in-depth explanation of mid-side, check out the stereo field video in our Mixing Basics series, where we go into detail explaining this type of stereo signal processing. Link in the video info. But as a primer, mid refers to the middle or center panned audio and side to the stereo parts of a mix. Processing the mid and side parts of the mix separately allows for stereo enhancement and other advanced techniques. I'll get a stereo visualizer so we can see changes to the stereo field easily. So how can we access mid and side parts of the mix in FL Studio Mobile? The spacer module has a mode to convert the normal left and right stereo signal into a mid side signal. Sounds weird, doesn't it? That's because mid uses the left channel and side or stereo uses the right channel. This sound has more mid than side information. This is why it sounds like it's panned to the left. So with the wet pan controls, you are able to apply effects to the mid and side channel separately. Say you want to add high frequency boost only to the side parts. Let's grab a pair of filters. We will use a low pass and pan it all the way left in the options here. Left is the mid channel, remember? And then we'll use a high pass filter and pan it to the right, which means the side channel. After that, we must convert the mid side signal back into left right to make any sense of it. So let's grab another spacer and select Input MS. And now you'll be able to hear the effects of the filters. See how the analyzer shows a straight line from top to bottom when the filter for the side channel is taking out all the signal? And that's it. Now you know how to do mid-side processing in FL Studio Mobile. We hope this video helps you get the mix you want more quickly. Don't forget to check out the video information for additional helpful links. Happy music making!